from, uh, from Haifa, which is a, is a port city, uh, just like, uh, like San Diego. Um, when I finished my military service, you know, in Israel we all have to go to the army, I was, I was in the Air Force. I decided that I'm going to leave, is leave Israel and go to, um, uh, to Europe. And so I did my, my bachelor's in law in England, and California was on my mind. It was like this amazing dream. Uh, it was so far away, and I wanted to come to California. I came to see San Diego, I visited San Diego, and I fell in love with this place. I fell in love with the city, it was like, a, so I landed here, within an hour I'm on a five freeway, and then boom, it hit me. It was one of those beautiful cities, and I felt connected. And so I, I, I went to law school in San Diego, and I graduated from, uh, uh, from law school here. And so my first job was working for an immigration law firm, and that's how it started. After a couple of years of working for another firm, I had the vision to start my own legal practice. San Diego is a great place for an immigration practice like ours, because we are kind of like the hub to Latin America. We're right on the border, there's a lot of trade coming in and out. And also, San Diego is a huge hub for innovation. We have a lot of technology, we have a lot of startups. I own a co-working space which is a place where entrepreneurs are working together, kind of like a, um, a commercial space where they share desks. And we started this because we want to give freedom to entrepreneurs from all over the world to be able to work. So San Diego to me is not only um, an inspiring place because of the opportunities, you know, the border, the, the, the biotech, the startup community, but also it's an inspiring place because a lot of people who come here, they come to create. And I feel that. People, they want to be in a relationship. The level of relationship is different, but they, they want companionship and share their life with somebody. And for me, it was important because I'm a social person. You know, I wanted to be, you know, and I'm like already desperate with all my dating thing. I'm like, I'm just gonna call it quits and move to, uh, to Africa and become a monk. Um, and then I met her. I was very apprehensive to get in a relationship with someone who's very newly divorced. And so, but we, did talk about it, I did raise it on the third date and <laughs> went ahead and said, hey, look, um, you know, where are we, where is this, you know, going? And so we did talk about it. We decided we couldn't live without each other. She's a beautiful girl and um, good heart. And I just, we just had a connection and it's been a great ride since then. It's so funny because, you know, the guy comes to my office and he has, um, he comes with a Lamborghini. He literally drives to my office with a Lamborghini. Oh my God. And he parks where the, on the side of the building and so we had a negotiation and he's like, and then so we're talking about this and, and I told him the fee. Like yeah. it was going to be that and then. He's like, yeah. You know. He's negotiating fees in his Lamborghini. He's like, you know we're not making, I'm like. Uh, um, yeah, no. Listen, do you have a Lamborghini parking by my office? <laughs> I don't care. I don't even have a Lamborghini. If you, <laughs> if you came to negotiate your fees, no. Don't go. come with a Lamborghini. No, in my no. Office, okay? Yeah, exactly. Okay. So it's like rule number one of negotiation. Yes. Do not come with that car. <laughs> don't yeah. come in your Lamborghini. Traveling for me is a vital part of my life. I enjoy travel. I've always enjoyed traveling. I mean, since I left Israel to go study abroad, and I do it a lot. I mean, I've recently came back from from Tokyo. Uh, I went to the, to the Caribbean, I went to Cuba. 